I'm hosting a Taylor Swift readathon. I am so excited to announce that I am going to be co-hosting a Taylor Swift themed readathon. How has it taken until this point for this to happen? Throughout the month of March, we are going to be running Tis the Damn Readathon. This has been such a group project. It's been so much fun to organize. It's been a real collaboration of loads of us, loads of people coming up with amazing ideas. It's been so much fun. So I'm gonna put everyone's links in the description box below so you can go and check out all the other amazing people who have been helping to organize this. They're not all booktubers. We have some booktubers, we have some bookstagrammers, we have a podcaster. It's been so much fun. So no matter what social media platform you like to use the best, Hopefully this readathon should cater to you as well. So let me tell you how it works, because I think it's really fun. So the whole point of this readathon is we wanted it to be really, really accessible for anyone to take part. So you shouldn't have to buy any new books for it. You don't even have to read much at all for it if you don't like the kind of panic rushing through reading loads and loads of books. But of course you can make it into more of a challenge if you like that. It's really, really adaptable to what you like about readathons. But let me show you the basics. We have this beautiful bingo board here inspired by the Lover House in the Lover Music video. This was created by Harry from Bedlam Books and it is stunning. So you'll notice it's not a traditional shape for a bingo board. And again, this is just to make it really adaptable. So if you are a try hard like me, I'm gonna be trying to collect every album on this board. So there is a square representing every single one of Taylor Swift's nine albums. And then there's a front door. You don't have to read anything for that square. So I'm gonna try and collect all nine and you can do that or you can try and get a bingo in any direction. So that could be going up either of the sides, getting three albums there. It could be going across the roof, getting those three at the top. You could go down the middle and just get two. You could go sideways. You could go diagonally and just get two. You can really choose what pattern you want to aim for. And honestly, anything goes. Whichever direction, even if it's like a squiggly line that you decide is gonna be your bingo, then that's cool. If you achieve it, you achieve a Taylor Swift bingo, you win the readathon. But how do you collect each album? Well, once again, there are loads of choices. So there are going to be three prompts for each album and you only have to achieve one of the prompts to collect that square. I'm not gonna go through all of the prompts because then we'll be here literally all day, but they will all be written out below. We also have a little Instagram graphic for them. You'll be able to find them on our Twitter account, which will be linked below because I can't remember the handle off the top of my head, but I'll write it on screen. So there should be loads of places where you can find the prompts that should be really easy for you. So in every room, we've tried to come up with a range of prompts from easy to hard, so you can choose which level you want to go for. And in every single room, there is one option option which doesn't require reading a specific book at all. So it might be something like listen to an audiobook or it might be something completely different like take a dance break or you know do a self-care activity. So it doesn't have to just be like reading hard all the time to get through this. And I guess that's another way that you might prefer to do the readathon is you could pick just your favorite album and then do all three prompts for that album if you prefer. Or you can just get one of the prompts and then collect as many as you want. It's really, really up to you. And then to tailor it even more closely to you, there is another option for how you can collect each album. If you don't like any of the prompts that are in that room, you can use a blank space tile, see what we did there, and to get a blank space tile, you again have three options. You can either read a book that Taylor Swift herself has referenced, and I will link below to some articles um, that list a bunch of these, or you can look it up yourself. There's loads and loads of books she's referenced. You could read a book that has a main character with a name that has featured in one of Taylor Swift's songs. So a James, a Betty, an Inez, a Drew, a Corey. Again, I will link below a bunch of options there. Or option three is you can read a book either about a cat or with a cat on the cover because we know that Taylor Swift loves cats. So any of those options can be blank spaces and you can use them to tick off any single one of the rooms. You could use all blank spaces if you prefer. You could ignore all of the prompts that we've created and just read two to nine books about cats, depending which bingo you're aiming for, and that'll be fine. 
So that is Tis the Damn Readathon. It's going to be running throughout the month of March, which is 31 days long. And if you've spent as much time as I have on Taylor Swift internet forums, you know that 31 is a significant number. It's 13 backwards and 13 is Taylor Swift's favourite number. And there are loads of other significant uses of the number 31 in Taylor Swift's history, which I'm not going to go into right now because you will unsubscribe and maybe like report me to the authorities for being obsessed. But the fun doesn't stop there. We are also going to be hosting two live shows one right before the readathon starts. Let me just check the date. Yep, the 28th of February at 5 p.m. GMT, we're gonna be doing a Taylor Swift quiz live show. So come along armed with Taylor Swift trivia. And at the end of the readathon on the 27th of March at 5 p.m. GMT, again, we are going to be having a book club live show. So the group book, which is completely optional, is Rebecca. We picked Rebecca because it works for the blank space tiles in a couple of different ways, actually. It works for the literary references one because Taylor Swift has said that Tolerate It was inspired by Rebecca and it also works for the first name one because in The Last Great American Dynasty, blanked on the name of the song for a second there, the main woman in that song is called Rebecca, although it is spelled differently. So if you do want to read Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier throughout the readathon month, a bunch of us will also be reading it and then we'll have a fun little live show book club chat at the end. We are also going to have some weekly movie nights. So there will be four movie nights throughout the month and these will be announced close to the time. We will announce them on the Twitter. I will also post them in the community channel here. We'll post them on Instagram. We'll try and like make sure that you guys can see them, but just keep an eye out on our social media and we'll be hosting what the group movie is going to be for each week. So people can watch it whenever they want. We'll tweet the night that we're gonna watch it as a group, and then we can all chat on social media about what we thought. And finally, merch. Our amazing designers, Harry, Molly, and Leanne, have been coming up with some absolutely gorgeous designs. So you've already seen Harry's amazing bingo board, and that will be available as a digital download that you can print out and stick in your bullet journal. We're also gonna be selling some bookmarks, We'll be selling some TBR bookmarks where you can write in the books that you're planning to read or maybe write them in as you go, the ones that you successfully read and just some other pretty Taylor Swift inspired bookmarks. We're going to be selling stickers that you can decorate your bullet journals with. We're also going to be selling badges. There'll be a really gorgeous readathon badge as well as badges based on your favourite albums. All of these the designs are to come very very soon so again keep your eye out on our social media and we will show you where you can get them. We're going to have social media templates that you can use to update your Instagram stories and stuff as you go. And finally, we're also gonna have achievement badges that you can win. So you can win a badge for completing the readathon, i.e. getting a bingo in any direction that you choose and using any of the prompts that you prefer to do it. And then there are three other badges that you can get if you're feeling ambitious. You can get a badge for reading the group book, Rebecca. You can get a badge for taking part in all four movie nights. And you can get a badge if you're feeling very ambitious for collecting all nine albums, as in reading a prompt for all nine albums, taking off all nine albums on the bingo board, you get what I mean. And again, you can either just download these digitally to show off that you got that achievement, or we will be selling them as stickers that you can actually stick into your bullet journals to show that you achieved those things. I think that's everything and I'm so excited for this to start. If there's anything that I've said that doesn't quite make sense, do leave any questions in the comments below and I will try to answer them. But hopefully you understand the readathon and are just as excited as we are for it to start. We have been having so much fun planning this and honestly cannot wait. Tis the damn readathon, let's begin. But not yet, not till the 1st of March, calm down.